What is up, YouTube? All right, guys. Well, it is Sunday, the day that I flea market crazy. And uh, this weekend's been pretty awesome, man. I spent a total of $10. Um, and I got, um, let me see. I got all of these books that you see for 10 bucks. I got, I know you can't see over there. Um, they're just wizard uh, price guides from the 90s. But uh, yeah, man, I mean, today I went down into Philly. They have this little flea market down there. It's actually humongous. And I saw a short box. Some lady said, you know what? Give me five bucks. You can take the whole box. And I saw this book on top. And I know this is the second printing. And there was two copies of it. And I'm like, that's kind of a hard book to find. I mean, I know it's not worth a lot of money. But I mean, I'm down. Five bucks. Shit. I got a ton of books here. Um, X-Force, almost a complete run to 40. Um, on issue number nine, it's signed by the artist, which would be, uh, is it eight or nine? What issue is it? Oh, it's issue 12, and I believe it's this one. A lot of doubles, a lot of duplicates, um, but it's signed. Um, Mark Pacella. Uh, 92. Pretty cool, man. So, yeah, I mean, I got these X... I mean, I have a run of X-Force already, but whatever. Uh, a ton of Namor books, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, so, yeah, like 2 through 39. That was pretty cool. Um, Team Youngblood books. Got um, some Youngblood 0 through... Just a bunch of 90s books, guys. Zero, I got a couple copies of this already. Um, I guess another one doesn't hurt. Uh, Youngblood, Youngblood, Youngblood. Wildcats Adventures, um, I got two copies of number one there. Um, and three copies of the Wildcats Trilogy. And then, you know, two, three, four, five, and six. And then this Wildcats source book. Shows, breaks down all their weapons and all that kind of stuff, which is awesome. Uh, Jim Lee Wildcats, I got three copies of this. Um, and then again, it goes, you know, two, three, four, five, six, and there's cop, there's, you know, doubles of. But guys, these are the ones that I was really interested in, and this is why I bought the box. This Deathmate uh, Yellow, signed by uh, Mike Leakey. I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Mike Leakey, or it could be Leak. Um, but again, you know, it's got that square binding on it those 90s books with that glue that holds up You can see it's never been opened because it wouldn't shut like that and there would be a huge crease on it It doesn't open so I don't think anybody's ever read this book. That's pretty cool. It's not really worth anything Maybe five ten bucks, but guys this book this caught my eye um, Death made black first appearance of gen 13 huh. All right, take that and prologue and epilogue books are here and then these Superman books part one two and three got water damage on them um, but guys let me get into the books that were really 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 cool for me to pick up and like I said man I only paid ten dollars for all these books this weekend so really really dope um, Transformers this is a mini series book it's number one uh, I don't really know how many are in this um, I think there's four. Yeah, there's a four issue series. Yep. And then first standalone cyborg book. Uh, Tales of the New Teen Titans cyborg number one of four. Jonah Hex number one. Book's in all right shape. Looks good. Another 90s book. Venom Punisher Funeral Pyre. This is the number one book. And then I wish this book was in so much better shape, man. This book is beat to hell. Firestorm, Nuclear Man, number one. But guys, this is the book. I couldn't believe I got this for a buck. Well, less than a buck. If you, I mean, what, 22 cents a piece? <laughs> I don't know. The guy was more pissed off to sell me this book because he wanted the case. And I just, I don't know, man. 
Gen 13 grunge cover uh, homage to, of course, McFarlane. John Cleary, 95, is when he did it. Um, really cool, man. This book goes for quite a bit of buck. So I'm really happy to have that. Now I'm going to show you guys some books that uh, I had picked up in my travels. These did not cost me a dollar. Um, I got a Death of Wolverine GameStop variant. I think it was a Chicago thing. I don't know why in my brain I have this connected to Chicago Comic Con. But yeah, nice book. And then, guys, probably one of my favorite books that I have in my collection at this point is this Spider-Man number one Platinum. And guys, this is signed on the inside by Stan the Man. On the inside cover by Stan Lee. And, uh, guys, thank you very much for watching this. I know it's really quick. Um, and here are these wizard books that I was talking about. Hero Illustrated, you know, Wizard World stuff. Or, I mean, not Wizard World, Wizard Books, the price guides. And it's really cool to see these price guides, man. I mean, the prices really haven't moved from the 90s to what they are now, which is really, really crazy. I mean, they're still asking quite a bit of money for some of them books in there, so... Well, guys, keep hunting, man. They're out there, that's for sure. Catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.